this is the success moment, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you just jump too early, you know? <laughs> so I just told you. That. I'm sorry, you know. I'm sorry. I, you know, I didn't actually. Why? Because we didn't talk didn't about actually, the detail. Yeah, I didn't. So. I'm sorry. I didn't. Yeah. Actually. Do you know this song, Auto? No. Okay. Welcome to Osan1710 YouTube channel. Wait, my mom is speaking. Ya arkadaşlar, koldayım. Bunu dünya seyredecek. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, thank where you. are you now? Um, I'm living in Taipei and in my flat right now. Yeah, Taipei is a uh, uh, in Taiwan. Tai, yeah, the capital of Taiwan. You have been already. <laughs> <laughs> so you have been already for some seventeen ten YouTube channel, you know. Out of relationship, uh, you made a great performance, and you can be sure that you have some fun club in Turkey, Autum Hong. So uh, when you come to Istanbul, probably they will make some of the welcome party in airport. So it's, it's not gonna be surprise. You can be sure about that. Uh, they will be waiting to you for celebrate your perfect acting. In the film, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kinda, kinda. Because, <laughs> yeah. So, how to, uh, you know? I let all your friends. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where about you. I know you. I have been. Uh, we met 2017 actually, uh, and yeah. we know you. We spent time one year in Leeds. After that, you know, our ways unfortunately they it's separated. So some of people they don't know you in YouTube channel. So in 30 seconds, you want to take a 30 second to introduce yourself, and of course more than welcome. And how we should know Autumn Hong? Uh, I was 27 years old right now, and I was study design in art university in Taiwan. And after, I found found out that I really love photography and one day I just told my friend I really want to go UK to study film and I try try to my try to learn English try to let my English better and I applied for different schools in UK and at the end I went to Leeds. Yeah so uh, what about the personality you know what we can know about you quiet person sociable uh, i think in front of the friends uncomfortable uncomfortable way i will be outgoing with it but in front of some people i will be quite quiet mm -hmm. yeah i think that's my personality yes i got you so you are telling that uh, when you meet the first time to be people, you go, you might be quite, uh, quiet. Actually, <laughs> you might be quiet. Yeah. But after that, you know, you will be very easy going uh, for in their uh, friends relationship. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So, out you know, I have a really wonderful stories with you, but one of them is very special for me in Leeds. So I would like to talk about it very shortly. Uh, there was a, one of the app uh, to find the friends in, you know, in everywhere. I'm not gonna say the name, but you know, yes, it is this one. So it's the one. <laughs> you know, yeah, the famous one. So I was I was checking some of the leads in the app, and you know, and we know each other, uh, but we we met for we met the different way because she is my uh, roommate, Antias, roommate's friend. That's why how how 
I know her. So then I realized that, mm. oh, I know this, I just checked the app and, oh, I know this girl. Yes, she's, she's my friend. Then I made a screenshot and I don't know, did I, did I do right or left? I, I think you sent it to me. Say again? Yeah, I think you screenshot and, and send it to me. You also text me on the app to say hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could be, yes, I, I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, then after, you know, but, uh, you know, it was interesting here. If you see someone to know in the app, interesting and weird, you know, you're checking the web and, oh, I know this girl. She's my friend, so yeah. it's interesting. So out of, uh, I would like to talk about also some of the photography skills. Yeah, uh, when I was in uni, I just found out that I really love photography. And I, because I was studying in the art uni, so it's quite easy for me to find some course about photography in my school of different different calls from different teachers and I think I learned a lot from them and after it so that is the beginning of of me to find out that I like I like it yeah so then after you made a you made a, a master in UK right yeah yeah, my my yeah. diploma is called film and photography and media. Media. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I I really like your photos. You know, um, they are really special, and you are doing this job really, really good. I can highly recommend your website. So, if you don't mind, I can. Mm. I, I'm I'm sharing with your websites in here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's good. So now I'm taking to you the concept, you know, the champions and disqualifications. Sometimes we are feeling champions and disqualification in our life. And you suppose that there are some jobs and you suppose that you are screwing on it, you fucked up and then you change your approach, your perspection, perspective, uh, you are going well on it. Then after you got a success. So we are really wondering that your story of it. Yeah, for me, uh, I think the difficult things for me is uh, about learning a new language. And because before I say I really want to go to UK to study phot photography, so let me, I really need to improve my English. So I spent six months in Brighton in UK to study in a language school. From the beginning, I think my pronunciation is really bad and my grammar is really bad and I just try to focus in the course and try any opportunity to talk to native speaker, even the stranger in the park. And I think a good thing for the language school is uh, there are so many students from different countries and that is a very good opportunity for you to learn English in there because over there everyone is have the same goal and everyone can practice together but I, um, I try to study very hard for three to four months and after I still found out that my English is not good enough to take the IELTS exam and I think I feel quite depressed about that because I just feel like oh I spent so much money and to study in here and I still not good enough and I can remember after the mock exam I just I just went to the toilet and being very sad and to think about why I suck at this, you know, 
why I trying so hard and still not being good enough and I don't know but I think the lucky thing is for me my host mom because I was living in host family and my host mom Ruby is very nice to me and she is very generous person and she she told me if you want I can correct your speaking so at the time if I speak something wrong in English she will correct me immediately oh. so I really appreciate that yeah I think she's really important person in my life okay so in the end how how did you feel that you are the champions so she made the corrections then where what where is the point of the feeling that autumn Huang is a champion so them? yeah 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 so that is me right now i'm talking english in a video with the people from different country yeah so it's a long story you know <laughs> <laughs> so this oh, means I'm trying for so many years. This yeah, is this is the success moment. So this is the success moment, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you just jump too early, you know? <laughs> so I just told you. That. I'm sorry, you know. I'm sorry. I, you know, I didn't actually. Fine, because we didn't talk didn't about expect, the details. Yeah, I didn't. So. Expect, I'm sorry. I didn't. Yeah. Expect. So yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Atum, uh, I understood you very well. So, what is the key point of your success? You know, what what I what did you learn from these stories, and what should be learned from these stories? You should know what you really want. And for me, that is the British culture and the art. And because I really love the British art and the photographies. Mm -hmm. So that is why I keep trying to learn English and improve it and make it better. Yeah. Okay. So that is not just yes, about learning a language. You should also connect to the things you love. So that is why I can keep trying until now. Okay, Atum. So I'm so happy to you are here. You came to Osan YouTube channel. Uh, can you say my name again? Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, Osan. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, um, and, you know, for we have uh, some of subscribers in channel and, you know, the world will be watching this video. What do you want to say for them? What is your final message for them, for world? Uh, as, a, yeah. <laughs> as a film and photography and media, Students, I would like to say, never give up and always learn from a film or series because those characters story can let you know how to improve your life and how to make your life better. Better. So, so as I understood, your final message is find out how to live how to live life more effectively effective effective no <laughs> <laughs> so what so what's your final message <laughs> oh my god so <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing I would like to tell everyone is never lose your sense of adventure. Yeah.
Okay, Atom. Thank you very much. Seriously, I was, I was, I love it. I love it, this video, and I'm pretty sure people will like it. And I'm so happy you are here. <laughs> Hopefully, we will see each other in somewhere in the world again. It's my wish, actually. Yeah, also thank you for having me. And it's very nice to be here and talk to the people around the world. And so hope we can join a new thing again. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. I love drunk tea, tell no vision. What's so